Well, Australia hasn't quite reached the same level of racial acrimony as the United States. Most of us can still see that the politics of race is divisive, destructive, and benefits all but a few shady hustlers. Whatever we Australians think about the death of George Floyd in Minnesota in 2020, for example, we would mostly agree that a violent, repeat offending thief and drug user is not the type of man who deserves a statue, as the city of Newark in New Jersey did in 2021. The Australian sense of the fair go and our innate desire to simply get on with each other always prevented that kind of divisive thinking. Well, that's how it used to be, but this week we took two giant steps away from the convivial consensus that used to define us as a nation. The first one is this. This is the statue of Sydney Swans AFL player Adam Goods, which was unveiled outside the Swans' new home in Moore Park, next to the Sydney Cricket Ground, this week. It depicts the moment when Goods pretended to throw a spear at Carlton fans at a home and away game during the 2015 season at the Sydney Cricket Ground. I used to be a Swans fan and I cheered Goodsy on countless times at the SCG as well as at the 2005 Grand Final when he picked up 20 possessions and kicked a goal to help break the Swans' 72-year premiership drought. If the statue outside the Swans' headquarters was of any other moment from his sporting career, it would be a reminder of his legend status in the game. But this statue celebrates the time when Goods briefly became the most divisive figure in the nation and an emblem of all that is making us more like the violently divided United States. Goods, you will recall, demanded security personnel evict a 13-year-old female Collingwood fan who called him an ape at the Melbourne Cricket Ground earlier in that 2015 season. The girl was too young to know how offensive it was but it was just the beginning of woke elitists finding racism among ordinary Australians where none existed. When Goods was booed at subsequent matches, this too was attributed to racism and was blown up into a story that sold newspapers and helped the AFL redefine itself from a sporting organisation to a virtue signalling force for woke politics. Even Goods himself admits the statue is divisive. He said, quote, I wanted to celebrate my culture, he said when it was being unveiled this week. Well, that's not Australian culture, which as it happens, gave him the opportunity to be paid ridiculous amounts of money for doing something he loved, but his culture, which obviously excludes non-Indigenous people and certainly excludes the Carlton fans he pretended to threaten at that match in 2015. And exactly what culture was he celebrating? What was he celebrating when he pretended to shake a spear at those Carlton fans? Well, we'll get to that a bit later. But this statue brings us one step closer to the seemingly unbridgeable divisions now destroying American society. Is that really where we want to go?